Hey guys, welcome back. Loza being here, and we are now on episode 8 of Doctor Who, which is gonna be about Mary Shelley, uh, so Frankenstein, uh, which I'm pretty interested in. Uh, Mary Shelley, as a, like, a historical fi figure, is like a very interesting person, so. But I haven't seen a lot of promotion for her within this episode. Uh, to be honest, I haven't looked at a lot of the promotion for the episodes I'm going in blind, but. Hopefully she does get a spotlight in this episode. Uh, but yeah, uh, for last week's episode, um, I thought that the idea was interesting, but it reminded me so much of the Sarah Jane Adventures The Nightmare Man, which honestly, I kind of preferred that. Um, like, I liked the development that Yaz's character got, but um, I just can't help thinking it's just so late <laughs> into like the series. Like, why couldn't they have hinted, like, her struggle with mental health a l more like during series 11 as someone that deals with mental health you know I've, I've been through the whole thing depression self-harm suicide and I'm still lucky to be alive basically but so uh, I would absolutely love that to be portrayed in, in Doctor Who so but I just kind of felt like that whole part was kind of tacked on I feel like Vincent and the Doctor did a better episodes in terms of dealing with that subject. So with Yaz's character, I just kind of feel I'm I'm at those stages where it's just like, yeah, it's great that we get more development backstory to her character, but at the same time, it's like, why did it take so long? Like, all you would have needed to do is like, you know, have shots of Yaz when nobody's looking, her smile drops. Or, you know, shots of her back at her flat where she's kind of just like staring off and not really seeing anything. She only really brightens up when the doc when she's travelling with, with the doctor. You know, little things like that that, that you could have, you know, emphasised on. Because really it is, a lot of the time, the little things. But anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, so there was a lot of controversy around um, Graham and the doctor scene where Graham opens up which I love that, but then the doctor kind of like, you know, shut that conversation down. Um, I get the point of that thing, I get the idea, you know, sometimes you open up to people and they don't know what to say or they're too socially awkward to have anything to say. That's fine to portray. I think the problem a lot of people had with that, and personally, uh, that I also had, is that it's, it's not that she was socially awkward or that she didn't have anything say it's the fact that she by walking to the console and going oh I'll think of something to say in a minute she just effectively shut down the whole conversation to the point of where there's no reason for Graham to ever open up to the doctor again you know as someone that doesn't know always what to say I struggle a lot with emotions and all there I get the point of that saying I just don't think it was written very well. Um, even the goddamn 12th Doctor managed to say something whenever Clara threw all the keys. Well, she thought she was throwing the keys in the volcano when she was grieving Danny. Even the, the, the Doctor managed, you know, do you think I care for you so little that betray me would make a difference? You know, even he can manage to say something, the most socially awkward Doctor. But yeah, I get the point of the thing, but it's a bit weird in a whole episode that's meant to be about mental health or opening up to people, the way that scene was specifically written, it just felt a little bit tactless. That's just my personal opinion, but I but I get the idea of the doctor not always having the, a comforting thing to say. That's completely fine. I just think she could have said, uh, I don't know what to say, but I'm always here to listen. And if you need a distraction, well, I'm your girl. Could have been that simple. Well, I just don't think she... It should have been written in a way where she effectively ended the conversation. Sorry, I am rambling. Uh, let's just get on with this episode. Let's hope there's more interweaving of the final plot arc. Because after Fugitive of the do the Jadoon, I'm surprised that there isn't as much hype towards or build up towards the finale, which I feel we need more. So, but yeah, let, let's hope this episode really launches us into the final two-parter. So yeah, let's do this.
That servant just does not look amused, guys. He's like, for fuck's sake. At midnight, sake. we took a torch to the chapel. <laughs> well, there's quite a lot of things to be afraid of when, when the doctor's staring in the face. <laughs> that, that servant is just, he's just, he's lost everyone's shit. What would you all care to drink? <laughs> we shall teach them the dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 jeez. Is this a ghost story? <laughs> what the oh, no, no, that looks like a spider. That looks like a spider. Fuck off. That looks like a spider. It's a combination of a spider and the hand from Adam's family. Who the hell's that? Why? Why you stand there? What? I sent my man out to fetch your carriage, but it seems to have disappeared. Need a bit of work, Ram. Oh, no, it, it moves like a it moves like a spider. I think it's a. It's a hand. So strong. Fourteenth, no, fifteenth century. Touch more on mommy. She licked it. She is the most baffling. <laughs> Oh, he wants to. He wants to fuck the doctor. Collagen and oh, you know he's normal. thinking it. What kind of implement? Can't blame him. The one that zaps people's heads off and threatens people with guns. <laughs> oh. Easier said than done, apparently. I've had many a dream where that's happened. Many a dreams where I walk in one room, so, come into a different Mrs. room. Said the house was Freaks the fuck out of me. She must be right. Turning against us. Ghost. Ghost, it definitely touched me. Oh, that was my elbow. <laughs> I knew that. I totally knew that. Uh oh. Please huh? tell me there's a real baby in here. I think he's sleeping with me, son. Or the desk. Can you hear me? No, you may not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, dude, the lights are on. I get you have a thing for good doctor. Mini break. I understand. Possessed. Back off for the moment. He walks in his sleep. Oh. My bones have never caught. Oh shit! It's a load of cyber. It's a cyber. Oh my god! Holy shit, it's a Cyberman! The bear of the Lord Cyberman, don't let it have what he wants! At all costs! Yes, thank you! Barricade the door! May I ask, what is a Cyberman? Someone altered. Cyberman, but then thousands. Humans like all of you. Changed into empty solar shells. No feeling, no control, no way back. I will not lose anyone else to that. Oh. Do not follow me. Oh, okay. Oh no. Please tell me. It's not the VMP. Oh god. Don't be afraid, little one. You will be like us. What if it finds William? To try a heightened state of anxiety. Or as I like to call it, Tuesday. 
Interesting look. What happened? They get bored halfway through or something? I'm complete enough to serve my purpose. Eh, not that complete. Bit embarrassing. Time hop took a lot of joy. Yeah, Doctor, get out. Doctor, run. Doctor, run. Run. <laughs> oh. Okay. No see me. It hid itself in me and hid me within the villa. And when he thought it might be discovered, it manipulated all of our possessions. You. Ooh. You want to call it? Do it now. All of you. Sometimes this team structure isn't flat. It's mountainous, with me at the summit oh. in the stratosphere alone. Jeez, she's she's she, she's she snapped. She snapped. Save the universe. Spare your son. But I won't. Oh God. Because he's a useless runt, sickly and weak. And I did have children. I slit their throats when I joined the resistance. Fucking hell. In death, we are transformed. Improved. Updated. As you Surrender it. Or I will execute you. I'd be very careful with those execution threats. I can feel it already. Fusing to me. Feels very at home. Recognizing great host material. Not to big myself up, but I don't think it'll vacate me without a fight. Fuck. Yeah, but, but, yeah but will you sacrifice your companions? What are you doing? Oh, fuck. You need more than once. No! The one thing you were not meant to do. Thinks a good place to start. With step two. The world was void, the populous, and the powerful was a lump, seasonless, herbless. Right, right. So this is now going into the finale, the two-part cyber finale. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah. Uh, I actually really, I really enjoyed the. The app, yeah, I, I actually really enjoyed this episode. I just wish, uh, well, I'm just gonna avoid the, <laughs> the next time chillers. Um, I just wish more of the, I liked, what was it, Lord By Byron? The, the guy that tried to flirt with the doctor. He was an interesting character, his cockiness. I wish he was used more. There was a charismatic cockiness, you know, that I, that was enjoyable to watch so it would have been nice to see that more on the screen um but uh, it was let now now i understand why there wasn't as much marketing for mary, mary shelley's character in this because it wasn't really about her which is interest which makes me wonder about the use of the historical characters for this episode like the mo like the whole house um and walking into different rooms i love that aspect i love the kind of horror aspect i uh, wish there was more of it um, but i like the hand and all there stuff i like to walk through the walls I, I like the dream aspect uh it reminded me a lot of hyde where you got the traveler trying to get in from her pocket universe so there was elements of that for me but when the Cyberman came in, I was like, oh shit, wasn't expecting that. Uh, the design, I think, was great, um, seeing half his face. Uh, obviously, because it's Doctor Who, I don't think they could have showed, you know, bits of his skull or, you know, that they, like, they had to keep it more tame. Because, you know, he would be kind of, like, fucked wise. But no, that, that was interesting and there was, like, a few dark moments where he was like, Oh, I slept my own children. <laughs> Fucking foot. Like, yeah. That was, um, that was quite dark. Um, nice that we yeah, I've been really wanting a plot arc and getting straight into that. Um, so the doctor f feeling, the, 
the effort thing snapping. Um, I'm 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 liking that she's getting you know. You can see that frustration, that anger, that darkness. I like her. You know, oh, we act like we're a team structure here, but really, I'm at the top, and you lot are just following my orders. Like that's what I um got from that. Uh, interesting dilemma for the doctor to be like, oh, if he dies, then history will change. But then to give the Cyberman what it wants. Um, I think this is one of those episodes where I kind of need to sit down and go, okay, I need to look back. But um, it felt, it didn't personally for me feel like 13 was completely backed into her corner. I think, yeah, so that's been me. I get the position she was in. I feel like they could have done something more to make it, oh, she has to give this, like make it a big major moment where she has to sacrifice the potential future of the earth for one life to preserve history. I feel like it wasn't made out as much of a deal as it was said to be, but that's just, again, but no, I really, really enjoyed this episode person um again i just kind of love the whole first part of the aspect with the ghosts and all there which i feel like was dropped even though they brought it back at the end it was like oh so doc what's what was if there's a ghost thing and i was like i don't know maybe maybe they exist in a way that so i don't get the point of that again it might just being a joke but um it does kind of make you wonder. Um, but yeah, those are my initial thoughts. Uh, again, it's one of those where I'll probably have to watch back. But I enjoyed it for the most part. And I'm really interested now going into the finale. And I hope Jack's back. Apparently he isn't. I, I don't know. People say Chris said, oh, it might be next series. I don't know. He's, he probably would lie. So not spoiler, but... I kind of hope so, but yeah, the doc. Anyway, the doctors put herself under a mess, and now we have to watch her fix it. So yeah, post your comments down below what you thought, and I shall see you next week. Peace.